10 known issues currently plugging the MCC Halo 2 flight on PC. How much do they affect gameplay? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourselves updated with all the content and information going on in the Halo community. So let's get right into the video here. Now keep in mind that this flight is obviously a test build of Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, so it's not going to be squeak clean as you would expect a full release to be. And the purpose of these flights are to point out errors and issues that they may not come up with when it comes to the regular testing process that 343 and their external partners do. So it's our jobs as the Halo Insiders, if you come across any glaring issues, to make sure to go onto the Halo support website to report an error. Though there are known issues going into this flight as well, so make sure that you know these before creating your own ticket. So in this video, I'm going to give you the 10 issues currently plaguing this flight. Now there are many more errors with this flight that if I went to every single one it would be like an hour long video but I'm going to give you the ones that you probably care about the most. We have things like frame rate issues, stuttering, we also have things not even rendering at all in the game, some decals on some vehicles not working properly and some audio issues as well. Now before I go into this list I definitely want to mention that the experience I have had while playing Halo 2 on PC has been great. Uh, I haven't noticed any glaring issues of where I feel like this absolutely needs to get fixed. It's actually been a very squeaky clean, fun experience that like it feels like it's ready to launch. It really does. But there are some issues with the game. So number one is a global issue. That means that this is affecting all of the flight, but apparently there is some stuttering when moving or an object is present and an unlimited frame rate is enabled. So basically meaning that when you're moving throughout the map, that you may come across some stuttering. We do have this issue when it comes to Halo Reach as well, where I play on limited frames on that game as well. It does play out pretty well, but it does come off a bit framey when you go above 60 FPS. Now I tried showcasing in this clip right here, I don't know if it conveys very well, but when you're in game actually playing, you definitely do know some stuttering of the frames. You might be getting plus like on 90, 120 frames, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it. So hopefully 343 is able to address this issue, but I have a feeling this might just be kind of a MCC port onto PC kind of issue when it comes to bringing the games on the platform. So I think we might be kind of stuck with this one. It's not game breaking, but it's certainly there. Number two on this list is a campaign issue stating that some missions take a long time to load and have FPS drops on the first launch of the mission. Now I didn't really notice much of the FPS drops but I definitely noticed the long load times especially on the map like Metropolis. That mission uh, takes an ext extensively long time to load into for some odd reason. The Xbox One actually loads into it faster than my PC which should not make any sense whatsoever, but it happens. Now I am playing on a hard drive, not an SSD, so it certainly does play a factor in load times, but it's noticeably longer than it is on the console. So it's certainly something I hopefully it gets taken a look into. It's not obviously not a game breaking situation, but you kind of get left sitting there watching the screen for like five minutes, maybe less than that, but you know, a long time we were like, okay, let's get in, let's start playing. So hopefully it gets taken care of before launch. Number three on the list here is that we do have a theater mode with H2A, so I had a chance to jump in and play around it. All the features and functions you would expect the theater mode to be there are there. I do have my own gripes with it, but I mentioned that in a previous video. But the thing is with this theater mode that is capped at 60 FPS, I have a clip here. You can see in the upper right hand corner that it's just stuck at 60 FPS, even though when I was playing, the game was rendering at least 60 to 120 frames generally for Halo 2 Anniversary. Now for theater mode, that's not that big of an issue for me because usually you use theater mode to record clips or post things or things and that kind of stuff, which generally when it comes to showcasing any kind of video on any kind of platform, 60 FPS is kind of like the gold standard now. Anything above it is uh, not really utilized too much. Like YouTube can only do 30, 30 FPS or 60 FPS really. And it doesn't do anything above that. And I don't know of any other video platforms that are very popular out there that do anything above 60 so this isn't really that big of an issue for me. Now while we're on the topic of frame rates number four here brings up an issue when it comes to multiplayer and campaign that the FPS the frame rate is only in multiples of 60 meaning that either you're playing the game at 60 FPS 120 FPS 
180 and so on which having this locked frame rate does play a part when it comes to certain kind of monitors especially like my monitor which has 144 hertz frame rate so basically it means i got 144 frames per second on this monitor and then since it does have free sync there's no screen tearing but i could see with other monitors that are not in intervals of 60 having some issues when it comes to being able to have no screen tearing and things like that so and also that not every machine's got to be able to perform at 120 but you want more than 60 so obviously that's gonna be a bit of an issue as well so hopefully that gets taken care of i feel like it will be because all the other campaigns and multiplayers don't have that issue of being locked into 60 so that should be a decent uh fix right there number five on the list it comes with halo 2 and it comes with mainly with the campaign but saying the music mixing is much quieter in mtc compared to original halo 2. now i got this clip right here where basically i was playing the campaign you can hear the difference while switching back and forth between uh anniversary and classic graphics that the audio as well changes and it's significantly lower when it comes to the classic graphics and audio. I'll give you a listen right here so you can check it out. This is also an issue that's on the MCC on Xbox as well, so hopefully that gets fixed. I have a feeling it's just more just kind of like amplifying the audio. I think that'd be an easy kind of fix to work out. Uh, hopefully it does. You know, this happens in multiplayer as well when it comes to the audio levels, at least one that was playing on the Xbox and also on PC actually as well, where it feels like the uh, classic audio is much quieter than the anniversary audio. And I feel like I'm having to be like a DJ with my headsets, trying to make sure that like I'm not blowing out my ears when I have H2A playing, but then also being able to hear my new minor things when it comes to classic. So hopefully that all gets evened out. Number six on the list has a rendering issue when it comes to the sun. And they state here that saying that the sun is not rendering on most Halo 2 maps and missions. And I did check this out on this one clip right here on Battle Canyon. You can see that yes, there is no sun. You get the lens flare and it's, I'm looking right where the sun should be and it's not there. I also checked this out on Metropolis and the same thing was happening there as well as there was no sun. There was the sun though in Halo 2 Anniversary was rendered, but not in Classic. Number seven on the list is an issue that was definitely brought up when I was playing with some friends, especially with my buddy uh, Wangless, who's much more of a classic Halo 2 player. He recognizes a lot more of these minor details, but I'm a, more of a casual fan of Halo 2. And I didn't really notice this, but apparently in number seven on the list here is saying that Team Spawn system does not have parity to Halo 2 original. So uh, I can understand maybe that being an issue. I don't really notice the spawns being too funky. Maybe at the start, yes, uh, or being really weird. I mean, they're certainly better than Combat Evolved. That's guaranteed no matter what they're using. Uh, so hopefully they get a little bit able to parody what uh, was in the classic original version. Apparently I heard that it was actually a little bit easier to spawn trap people. So I guess maybe the spawns are a little bit more set than they are now. So definitely something to look into. I look into as well, they said that number eight on the list here said bullet registration is not in parity with the original halo 2. now i didn't really notice this much either but that's because i was very casual when i came to playing halo 2 so i don't remember the minor details like that but i do remember seeing a tommy concert that recently came out showcasing in halo 3 how the bullet magnetism worked completely different on the original halo 3 compared to mcc where if you didn't have your cursor exactly leading properly that in the classic Halo 3, you could still hit your shots with the bullet magnetism, but in MZC, it doesn't happen. So I'm assuming it's probably something very similar, and I'm wondering if that will get fixed. I don't think it will, but uh, we'll see if it happens, but I think it's more of an overarching MCC issue. I did come across this actually in one of my very first games playing. It was saying for number nine, when using voice chat, there is no notification that players are talking. Now I can hear them talking. That's definitely, I guess you can call it a notification. Uh, but the first game I played in Halo 2 Classic, I matched against a guy clearly on the stream, didn't mute his mic, and he was just talking and talking and talking. And I'm like, who's talking? I can't see who's talking or can't, a notification that's, so, or like the little blip icon showing that someone is talking. And so I had to actually go into the menu and then you can actually see them who's talking right then and there. 
So uh, that's definitely one thing I really hope they update when it comes to this uh, flighting process here. And lastly, number 10 on the list here is a minor detail, but it's certainly a bit of immersion breaking. You don't notice this when you're actually playing, but I went into theater mode to check this out, and this is very true. And I have a clip right here to show you that in Halo 2 Anniversary, decals on the Gauss Warhawk turret will detach from the model during the firing animation. As you can see in the clip, that basically there's this rotation animation that happens with the Gauss Hog to kind of give you like a reload kind of look to it. And the decal just like flies off of it for whatever reason, obviously not a game breaking issue and you don't really even notice it when you're playing, but yeah, it's there. And I'm glad that they're able to catch these minor details when it comes to the flighting process. So those are the 10 issues that are plaguing this flight right now. Hopefully a lot of these get fixed. Some of these do actually get fixed when they bring these up. Uh, this definitely happened with CE and Reach, uh, though we'll see what gets picked because obviously there's gonna be a priority between the release day when this game needs to come out and the how squeaky clean it needs to be. It also depends how difficult difficult these errors are to fix. I mean, though I did bring up a lot of issues when it comes to this game, and there are a lot more that are mentioned that if I went to every single one, this would be like an hour long video. But honestly, my experience while playing the game, besides like the stuttering that we're experiencing when it comes to the frame rate, it plays really well. I am actually really excited to get a chance to hopefully get to play a lot of Halo 2 in Halo 2 Anniversary. Still have my fingers crossed for rank Halo 2 Anniversary, but we'll see what happens with that. So if you guys enjoyed this informational video, please make sure to tap that like button to let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what other issues you've been experiencing with this flight if you've been invited. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date with all the content happening on the channel and with all the news and information happening in the Halo community. If you're new to the channel and you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got playlists to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.